WA. 12 and a half minutes to 12. John Stanley with you. It's your business day this afternoon. One of the things that really is shaking up the retail market and changing the way all of us live, of course, is the concept of doing things and buying things online. These days, uh, huge numbers of people are on Facebook, and it's not just young people. It crosses all demographics. Uh, people use Facebook to exchange photos, information about themselves, to share information about their family and what they're doing. But increasingly, people are actually going on Facebook and using it as a business tool. I'm quite surprised, actually. One of the businesses that is doing that is Milan Direct. Milan Direct sells furniture online. Now, selling furniture online, you think, well... How would you do that? You can't touch it, you can't feel it. But that may well be why a lot of retailers don't like people walking through and doing a bit of tyre kicking. Milan Direct's been uh, running for uh, five or six years now, a little bit more than that, out of Victoria. The man who's been running Milan Direct and has driven all of this is Dean Rambler. He joins us on the line now. Dean, good morning. Good morning, John. How are you going? Not too bad. Can I just take you back to 2006 when you started selling furniture online a lot of people were telling you wouldn't work yeah so that's the exciting thing back in 2006 we had our friends and family telling us you're crazy who's going to buy furniture online without touching and feeling the product so we knew that you could sell furniture online because today people just want the best product the best price and we believe the online model is the best way to deliver that product. So are people buying your products sight unseen provided you give them a good enough image of what they're going to get online? Yeah, that's correct. So Milan Direct has no showrooms. We're 100% online. And the key is you have to eliminate any perceived risk about shopping online. So we do that by, you know, we take the best photos of all different angles. We make product videos um, for most of our products, 360 degree views. So you're making that the online showroom virtual. We tell our customers that all our products have 12 month warranties. You can buy extended warranties. 14-day money-back, uh, you know, guarantees. So if you don't like the product, you can return it. So that's the key to online success. You eliminate that perceived risk. How did you start, though? You, you, you threw yourself up online. How did you get the message out that you were doing this? The beauty about the internet is that anyone with a credit card can jump onto Google AdWords and set up an online marketing account instantly, and your ads can pop up right away, like within five minutes of putting your credit card details in. So online removes the barriers to entry, and allowed Milan Direct back in 2006 when we had very limited budget just from personal savings. Yep. Okay, and so your ads were popping up when people were doing Google searches. How yep. soon after you started did you start getting the phone calls and the, the, the uh, inquiries? Yeah, well, that's the other thing. Um, we'd set up a, a basic website um, straight away and the sales come instantly. So because online ads are highly targeted, we can have an ad for, you know, like high back leather office chair people click on that, it goes back to that exact product that they're looking for um, at a great price, you know, uh, 70% off retail, yep. um, and then sales come instantly. And does it know where I am if I'm doing the search? So firstly, you can restrict um, the geography of where you're targeting. So for our Australian business, um, we just have the ads pop up for Australia. Mm. The Direct also operates in the UK and Europe, so we yep. have different campaigns set up for those regions. Um, and then there are certain like online tricks which you have to learn to master, and we've sort of We've, we've taught ourselves um, these tricks in that. They're not really tricks in that. You have to, if you provide, you know, relevant ads, like for the high back leather office chair, we make it very clear in that ad exactly what we're selling and link it to a high back leather office chair. And Google says, okay, that ad's extremely relevant. We're going to put your ad right at the top for very little money. Um, if, for example, I was selling a can of Coke that had high back leather office chair in the ad mm. and it took you to a, a product page which was not mm. and Google was going to penalise you. Okay, so all right. Things yeah. like that. And, yeah. so, and, and you've got several staff working full time on social media to, to try and refine all of this. Yeah, for sure. Um, we've found <clears throat> social media is one of the best ways to engage you know, daily with your customers and build that brand loyalty and, and interest in your brand. Um, so yeah, we definitely have several full timers working on our social media communities um, which for us is just a good way to chat amongst our, with our customers and yep. provide a platform for our customers to even talk as a community amongst themselves um, and give a reason to always make Milan Direct top of mind. So on your Facebook page there that you've set up, that's where people can interact with your staff is, and, and see the information that you've got? Is that how it works? Yeah, that's correct. So on our Facebook page, we're posting daily, a few times a day, 
you know, really great, rich, free content. Um, you know, we give people a reason to come back, you know, a few hours a day. We'll post like design tips, design blogs, behind the scenes at Milan Direct, mm. latest product offerings. We also do like, which is pretty exciting, Facebook competitions. What we find is that the level in, you know, of engagement is highest nine till five, you know. Yeah. When people are at their day jobs, probably a little bit bored during the day, mm. they're jumping on the Milan Direct fan page to get a bit of inspiration yeah. when they go home, you know, with yeah. their paycheck, what they can spend it on. Yeah, but people can still be doing it in the middle of the night, early hours of the morning. Yeah, that's true. So uh, at night time, we find people use tablets the most, you know, at night time, mm. sitting there, probably watching some TV show, a little bit bored. So they're flicking through, looking at products and chatting, you know, with the Milan Direct community. So it's 24-7. How big were you when you started compared to what you are now? How quickly did you grow? Uh, we've experienced massive growth. We only started with two products in the range. Today we've got thousands of products. Well, you started um, with two. What were they? We started with two iconic lounge chairs. Yeah. Um, so from the 1950s, whereas today Milan Direct is a very broad range. Yeah. So we've got all furniture for home and office. The products you have, are they the same products you might find in some of the retail stores or are they unique products? Uh, we have some products which are designed and unique to Milan Direct, um, but a big chunk of our range you can find in any of the retail mm. stores. They're very similar styles, like an office chair doesn't vary too much. It hasn't yeah. even changed too much in 100 years. So. Mm. But with the advantages of online, you know, we've got very low overheads, mm. no showroom, no um, you know, staff to man the showrooms. So our prices are just yeah. so much more competitive. Just let, let, let's be honest about it. How, how many people do you reckon are going to the retailers looking at the products there and then buying them from you? Yeah, I think it's happening a fair bit. I actually heard some, you know, some information recently that Milan Direct sells a, a big range of furniture which you can find in an exact retail store, you know, I'm not going to mm. name the one. Mm. And that retail store has a price match guarantee. Mm. <clears throat> Customers are walking into this store, in the physical stores, and saying, hey, I've seen this exact same bed, for example, at Milan Direct. Can you please, you know, match the price? Yep. And they jump online, see our price, and they're like, wow, no. There's no way we can match that price. And so basically, it's the same game, but we've just taken it online right. at a better deal. So the retailers are not so happy. Okay, all right. So you're one of the people that's making life very difficult for retailers, the, the physical retailers. The physical retailers, but there's so much opportunity yeah. for online retailers now. And we're seeing, you know, so many jobs created in online and logistics and warehousing. So it's just like the model's changed a little bit, but... At the end of the day, the customers are getting just much better deals and better prices and more affordable furniture. Okay. Dean, great to talk to you. Well done. It's a huge story and a huge success in just seven years. Uh, are you going to keep growing? Yeah, definitely. We've got massive you know, global expansion plans. We want to launch Milan Direct into every country where there's demand for designer furniture. So definitely just the beginning of an exciting growth period. All right. Good luck, mate. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Great. Cheers, John. Bye. Thank you, mate. Yeah, there is Dean Rambler. He's uh, the founder of Milan Direct. For many of you, you might think, gee, talking to the devil there, uh, because he's the one who uh, is putting this stuff online, and in many cases, people are going into showrooms, having a look, and then buying the stuff online. There's nothing like going into a beautiful showroom, a beautifully set up showroom, having a look, having a sit. But it, without the showrooms, you just wonder how much business a business like that would make but they are operating online they are using things like facebook and as he said he's got several people working full time for him on that whole social media strategy it's what businesses are going to have to do if they are going to be able to compete into the future it's now four minutes to 12 on your business day